Good afternoon, uh, guys. It's December 7th, 2022. Um, I'm actually going to start road training the homers today. Uh, this is 1.26 miles. This is actually their first training toss. Uh, got the carrier I needed in. This came from Mike's Falconry uh, Supplies. They carry a lot of pigeon stuff. Obviously, falconers train their falcons on pigeons. Um, and I use them for a lot of things. They're super fast turnaround, good prices, have a little bit of a different variety. Not quite what Foy's has or Jed's has, but if I need something fast, I go to them. This is a, a crown carrier, went together easy. Um, it sprays down. It's got a tray and a solid bottom and, and a solid bottom underneath of it. Uh, kind of the only complaint is this doesn't latch too well. I had to use a bit of wire to hold that in place. But uh, needless to say, we're going to be flying today from 1.26 miles based on uh, air. Um, pretty straight shot home. Home is that way. That's to the southwest from here. And once they get up and get some altitude, they should probably see the general vicinity of the loft so I don't think it's going to take them too long to get home uh, they're probably going to beat me I'm sure um, what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to single toss a lot of people do not single toss at least to start um, but I don't want my bird playing follow the leader um, I want birds that are going to find their way home and, you know, <clears throat> if I lose them, I lose them. If I lose them, I don't want them. So everybody's going to be single tossed. Um, this is just the way I'm going to do it. Uh, you might disagree. Others of you may agree on the method, but that's that's what I want them to do is I want them to, get, to go home on their own, not play follow the leader, not follow other birds. Um, and like I said, if they if they can't do it, um, especially from this short distance, I, I don't want them. So we're going to start. So this is 5632. This is a black widow cock. This is the pied bird in the past. You may have seen him. He was uh, kind of an early lander in my experience. His tail, he's actually in pretty good condition, but his tail is about half molted out. Um, so I'm going to toss him first, give him a chance to, to get home. But uh, 5632, he is pure Black Widow. Uh, so, wait for this car to get by. So, off he goes. He's heading east, coming back around. I'm going to let him disappear on me. Oh, he landed in the tree. Not good. Landed in that pine tree. You know what, buddy? You've been doing that a lot. Um, if you don't go home, you don't go home. 5628, also Black Widow. This is a hen. Short, cobby bird. I actually really like this one. Here she goes. This is 5627, also Black Widow. I think I like this one the best. Fifty six twenty four. This is a Jansen. Comes down out of James Stark out of James Stark's loft. Uh, down around the Sacramento area.
This bird's actually in the poorest condition out of all of them. Um, has some flight wear going on, always has had. There goes the idiot out of the tree. He's going to follow. There's the idiot from the tree. And there's actually the first black widow bird. So that's, they've actually been staying here, I do believe. This is 5626. Probably my second favorite of these four black widow birds that are left. So, on you go. My set of power lines over here to this short one here. So you notice there the rest of them are actually still here so kind of uh shooting my plan up here by sticking around uh, more this is 5622 this is a devrent um it's actually the last devrent out of this actually he's not pure devrent he's uh he's a little over half so on you go, bud. So I just got back a few minutes ago. Um, got here, no birds. Um, and they just came in, five of the six. Uh, a couple have already trapped. These guys are going down. Gave them a little corn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's do the trap. Come on. They've rent back. Um, they actually came in as a group. Um, there's one bird missing, and it's the one that landed in the tree, which is also the same one that was uh, landing on housetops here and wasn't flying as much as the others. Um, you know, my opinion is it's probably a, a cull. <clears throat> it also had a half molted tail, bit of a bigger bird. Come on, bud. Get in there. Uh, chickens say there's something overhead. Come on, bud. So, five of the six back. Five of the six. So, even the Jansen came back with the uh, pretty worn flights. Not, not a bird's not in real great condition. Uh, three of the four black widows back. Like I said, the one that that pied bird that was uh, <clears throat> not much of a flyer and that landed immediate, almost immediately in the tree. That one is uh, not here. So uh, maybe good riddance. Um, I'm not going to cry over spilled milk on that one. I don't think if it comes back, it comes back. Which it it could, it could still come back. Um, but these guys I'm happy with. They kind of had me sweating a little bit. I was, like I said, I got here and I really expected them to beat me home and they didn't. I thought I saw them ranging a couple minutes later, which is that's maybe what they were doing. They did come back as a group, even though they were all, uh, went out separate. <clears throat> but when I left the, uh, the toss site, at least four of them were in a group. The Devrent was on its own. So these four were obviously together and the different was on its own, but I think they probably grouped back up at some point. So, uh, successful trading toss. Wish they were a little faster than they were. Um, 
but uh, so far so good. Um, I'm going to repeat the same toss. I think two or three more times. Try to build some confidence up in them. And I'll probably change directions on them. I'm actually... Uh, that toss side is actually the race course. Um, out of, into the valley here, there's kind of a low gap about 10 miles out, and that is where they come from, is from that low gap. And uh, to the east, near the Idaho border, is the long races. Um, so... Uh, they're on the course, but I, I am going to kind of pick some s short training tosses kind of in all directions, um, just on account of because partially for just kind of exercise purposes, getting them used to staying in the air a little longer, maybe do five, maybe do up to five or 10 miles kind of in different directions. But for the most part, I'm going to, I'm going to follow the race course, but, uh, successful. Yeah. Like I said, one missing, but uh, that bird was not flying well. Landed in the tree on the toss. But not that broken up over it. Um, it's obviously just not a good one. Um, you know, the old timers used to say, you know, let the, the training basket do your calling. If that one's a call, that one's a call. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to subscribe, hit subscribe. I'll be doing more training tosses. Um, I do have uh, Sky Leader, so as they get some confidence and start getting some distance, I'm going to start doing some uh, using Sky Leader on them, and we'll track their uh, progress and see how they get here. Uh, I'm really interested to see how they handle the small, narrow valleys coming in here, um, coming over the Cascades. So. Uh, We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, good little toss, not bad.